So another choice in Schoology is creating an event. Now the event is meant to be something where your students or your participants would attend RSVP. I know some teachers, including myself, have kind of used it for an assignment, but not really to grade it, just to let students know that it's due. But it's truly meant to have something where people attend. So what I've used it in the past for, besides a fake assignment, is to um, have my AP kids come for, my AP students come for an extra help session for reviewing for the AP exam. I've used it for my chemistry club events. And I could see using it even for some kind of like office hours where you could have students kind of RSVP, maybe even have a Google um, form they could sign up and you could let them know that they could attend and then you can see who's attending if it's just that one class. So that's what it's meant to be. So let's get started and let's see what it looks like and how you set it up in Schoology and what the options are. All right, so you can kind of get in again to your Schoology course. Here we go. So you'll go to the calendar and then you pick the date that you're having your technically your event on. It is going to default to event and you can put a time. So maybe you want to have 8 a.m. And I'm just going to pretend that this has to do with professional development for 2020-2021 um, for teachers uh, at our school. It's called HSSD. I'm going to have it that you could RSVP, and it's just people who are in this group, so it's not everybody. I'm going to call it a private event. And then I might say, you, you know, you, um, use um, or maybe say view the agenda uh, for the event. Um, RSVP um, by, maybe you put a date, like, you know, in this case, it would be August 12th or something, okay? And then if I had the agenda, like maybe this was the agenda here, I'm just going to steal this. Oops, it didn't steal it, so you got to highlight it, and then I do double click, and it depends how your, I have a Mac out set up, but I'm going to copy that. And again, I'm going to add that as the agenda and link it. If you have an agenda, maybe you even want an image. So I haven't done this yet. So maybe you want an image and I could see if you're having an event, you kind of want to have some kind of image to draw people in or want them to come. Um, so I found another like teaching image that I just called teaching with a mask. Um, let me see if I can find it. Here it is. And again, this is from that um, Unsplash site that I talked about with getting an image for your course. And then that'll drop in and you'll see that. It'll be kind of big. Don't worry about that. I wouldn't try to like zoom in on it. Again, you can kind of investigate all these other choices, but I think that looks pretty good for my event. Now, my course here in my Schoology course, I only have one person in it right now. So let me show you view item. Now, if you had 20 students or maybe it was a, you know, a bigger a bigger thing, I only have one awaiting a reply because again, I only have one member, which is I added my own my own kid to this course, okay? So the, the choices are kind of limited at this point for you to see. The other thing you're going to see is that it does show up on the upcoming. This is, I think, what some teachers have been doing is using it like in its assignment and then collecting it at school. But if you're not face-to-face, -face, you're hybrid or online fully, that's not really how you want to uh, use the event. The event is kind of meant like an event like you would have. And you could even have attending, not attending once they RSVP. You can invite other guests. Um, and then uh, let me go back to here again if you had an agenda you could link it and again remember I'm linking all of these um, videos in this Google presentation that I will have in the description of this um, of this video so I'm gonna hit cancel good there we go let me go back to here and the pictures there you can hit the agenda here it'll open it up in, and it'll just open it like that and you can have comments. So this is something I'm going to show you because I haven't showed you this. So I'm going to go to, you can hide the guest list. And I'm going to go to edit again. Maybe you want to change something or some things that you want different. You can also enable and disable comments. Anytime you see this little quotation or little thought bubble pop up, you can get rid of the comments or you can have them. I think for an event, you might want the comments. But for other things, you might want them to be gone. So take a look whenever you see these comments enabled. This is actually going to get us into our interacting with students in Schoology um, videos that I'm going to be making um, soon. So there's your event. Looks great. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. So I hope that helps explain how to create an event, what it is, and I think sort of how Schoology uh, meant for it to be. And again, I think a lot of us are using the event for something that's a little different, but I think they meant it to be some kind of thing that you would RSVP to. All right. Great job, teachers. Keep up the good work. I hope you're enjoying maybe learning about Schoology. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. 
And like I said, again, in the description of this video, you will find that Google presentation and it'll show you all the videos that I'm going to be hopefully making and then the ones that I've already been done making. I'm almost done with the Create uh, in Schoology and moving on to the Interact and Assignments and Assessments and the Gradebook. And if you have to use the conference app like I did in my summer chemistry, how to use that blue, big blue button conference app. All right. Good job.